And like other resorts, our resort is visited by many people because of famous underwater sport, and that is scuba diving. Scuba diving is a mode of underwater diving where the diver use, uses a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, which is completely independent of surface supply to breathe underwater. So, how does scuba diving work? Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, or scuba, has been developed to enable man to swim and stay underwater for long periods of time. A scuba diver carries metal tanks that hold com compressed air or a special mixture of breathing gases on his back and wears masks and fins. Don't want bad things to happen in spending our vacation, right? Our resort is indeed the best and safe place for you to come. To strictly implement rules or reminders such as the do's and don'ts in scuba diving. Do's are the following. First, wearing only off dry suit which has tight fitting neck, wrists, and ankles to prevent water from leaking in. Breathe continuously. You are doing something technically impossible that is why holding your breath can cause an air embolism which can cause a fatal or a serious injury. Equalize frequently as you descend. Just like on a plane, the change of pressure as you descend to death while scuba diving means you need to equalize your ears frequently and before feeling any pain to avoid injury on your inner ears. Lastly, divers should ascend slowly from every dive. By coming up slowly from a dive and doing the safety stuff, the nitrogen in your body has a chance to dissipate and therefore cause no harm. Don'ts. Number one rule of scuba diving is don't hold your breath. A look at Bell's law explains why this rule exists. When a diver inhales from its tank above the surface, its present atmospheric pressure is only one. But when he inhales from the tank 30 feet below the surface, the lung's pressure will also ascend which may result in fatal damage to the lungs. That is why, even in underwater, we still have to breathe continuously. Don't eat big meal before diving. Since the volume will ascend, most likely the diver cannot dive deeply. Because according to Boyle's law, when the volume increases, the pressure decreases and vice versa. Third, we do not allow drunk customers to dive as well as them overexerting themselves. It is our way of keeping them safe. And lastly, we do not care only for our customers but also for our coral reefs ecosystem. That is why we give suction to people who touches it.